Hello, this is Michaela of Studio Octopus, and I'm here today doing something that I haven't done in a little while, which is a haul video. A little while ago, Elf Cosmetics did an offer for both free shipping and if you did a threshold spend, you got some goodies and together that sounded like a great, great deal. You get a lot of these deals by signing up to their newsletter and they'll just have deals all the time free this and free that and free shipping and blah 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 which is really really makes it that little extra incentive to do a little order. This is the first time I've ordered from them since they changed from using a redistributor in the UK to supply everyone with e.l.f. cosmetics to you just buy them from e.l.f. in America directly and I didn't realise that that actually meant they do ship them from America. It actually took a little while to get here but it was all in one piece everything is intact the shipping was great it just took a little bit longer than i thought it would here's the box here it arrived this morning it's not a super big haul these are the goodies so i'm going to go over what i bought specifically first and then i'll cover the freebie pack of stuff first off was this this is the elf studio blush in candid coral as it says mirror included and we're getting a net weight of 4.75 gram they have quite a few lines within elf because they have sort of the cheapest tier stuff and then i think it's elf studio and then there's another one above that now so they actually have quite a selection available so this is the mid-range stuff specifically i'm really struggling to open this just have to go for it and tear the packaging oh i should read the back first sorry it says blush the soft sheer texture blends into the skin for a silky finish designed to be worn alone or layered for more depth highlight your complexion with a subtle healthy glow directions apply to the apples of the cheeks or any other area you wish to highlight okay finally got it open i think Ugh, there we go so it had a little bit clear a little window with no clear plastic just the cardboard but to be fair that makes it a bit more recyclable and this is the little compact here which again has the net weight printed on there that it's a blush uh, and it does say the name as well on the back which is candid coral I always find that stuff quite useful if the actual product has the name on it so then when you're starting to run out you can know what it was that you liked that you want to rebuy again so let's open this up so we did have a nice clear plastic coating on here that's the blush there with elf embossed into it and we have a little mirror here and a little window uh, like and my initial impressions right away are that I'm not sure I'm super bothered about the little window I think it would probably be better to have a full-sized mirror otherwise this mirror seems a little small to me but anyway so this is the color here I will try and show you it close up there we go and yes this is called candid coral it isn't a particularly dark color it's quite a light golden -y, peachy pink it's very very pretty looking it does have a very nice soft texture and it is swatched here on my hand which it isn't going to come up super well both on my hand and in the lighting but it actually looks like that's going to work really well on me it actually has sort of a sheen to it you can uh, when it catches the light you move your hand it goes from pink to kind of having a lot of gold tones over the top which looks really lovely so that's sort of a you could use it a little to highlight it would be like a highlighting blush it's not a super super matte blush it just have a little bit of a golden sheen to it but i think that looks really nice and very complimentary to my paler skin tone so that was the elf studio blush in candid coral 4.75 grams this did cost four pound 50 and like i said this isn't the cheapest line elf do there is the just regular elf i think it's called the studio one is the mid-range one next up is i think this cream eyeliner and i thought i'd spring for one of these eyeliners because i haven't tried this style before 
for it's a, a black pot and you sort of are gonna put it on and it's a wet creamy gel type formula and then it'll dry on and you'll set it I think as well with um black shadow but I've tried obviously pencil liners and the wet style ones so let's see cream eyeliner creates precise smooth lines and gives smudge proof and water resistance coverage achieve thin or bold lines with ease directions dip the brush comes with a little brush here but I'm going to open it in a second dip brush into formula gently swirl around wipe off any excess formula trace along the top lash line from the inner corner towards the outer edge of the eyelid if desired apply on lower lash line as well remove with eye makeup remover and there we go that's that let's open it up the brush is actually attached to the outside of the box so here it is here the pot itself of the black liner actually looks like it's very generous to me this is a pretty big size you get 4.7 grams of this black liquid liner so that's actually about the same size as the blush that's actually quite a lot so it has this clear plastic little container with the black lid it says out on the top again it has that it's black and I think it will just have the serial number for the product let's open this up and there it is on top it was beautifully fresh and untouched <laughs> and then yes it does come with a tiny little brush I personally I'm not sure I would use this brush specifically I suppose it would be good to chuck into a on-the-go or a travel makeup bag since it's so small but I have a more full-size brush that is this the angled shape and I think I'd be more likely to use this than trying to struggle with this tiny little thing it is kind of cute though <laughs> So that is the brush that it comes with and it feels just as high quality as the full size brushes it has the plasticky handle metal ferrule the nice soft but not super soft because of this style of brush is for like definition so it's like it's soft in that it won't scratch your skin but it's firm in that it keeps its shape if you know what I mean so it's a nice enough brush but the thing I actually care about yes is the product so I'm gonna do this swirling into it Ooh, it has a very creamy formula and you can just sort of push the excess off the side there let's have a look at it here that's nice and black and yes you're going to be able to get some very very precise lines with that because it's such a slick formula but that looks very nice I'm gonna to have to try this out quite a bit because like I said I've never tried this style specifically of eyeliner before so I'll have to see how it goes so this was the elf cream eyeliner in the shade black and this also cost £4.50 next up is the elf studio concealer that's it there and this says it is a creamy lightweight texture blends in evenly for natural full coverage that lasts help conceals blemishes discoloration under eye darkness or any other imperfections and its directions apply to areas that need additional coverage gently pat onto the skin and blend with fingertips or a concealer brush so this is a pretty standard sort of stick cream style concealer rather than the liquid style that has the doe foot applicator let's just open it up and I it, it is three grams and like all of the other slightly nicest studio items so far this is also four pound fifty we have all of this space inside where they could have fit like something in it it seems a bit of a waste of packaging but I suppose to a certain extent the packaging is to make sure the item stands out on the shelf as well rather than just for people who are buying it online so that is the concealer out of the package it has the very lovely understated but I actually quite like the elf packaging it's actually very nice and very sleek but not like you know overdone or anything it's just nice packaging so this says as well on the end what it is 
let's open it up. Opens that way. Let's see how much we get inside. See, that looks like quite a generous size. I can't even see the bottom where it's attached to the um, the base inside. Just sort of like some lipsticks you get where you have to use a brush if you really, really like them and you want to get the last of the project out, you'll use a brush and stick it inside. So this was the lightest shade available in this concealer. I think I might have mentioned that before a million years ago when I did my first experience with e.l.f. They don't have like a huge amount of uh, shades. They have sort of some light and some mid. I'm not sure how great their dark tones are, especially. So this might end up actually being slightly too dark for me, but I will have to see. I'll swatch it here. So there it is there. That is definitely coming up on my hand. And yes, this might end up being a touch too dark for me. It's very peachy toned, pink toned. It's got a very pronounced tone. It's it's clearly blending in there. I don't think you can even see it that much anymore. But initial thoughts are that it might be a touch dark, but I'll have to see how it goes. The formula felt really lovely, creamy and movable without being like too wet. You don't want a concealer that is either too wet or too dry to sit funny. But there we go. That was the uh, Studio Concealer, four pound fifty as well and you get three grams in this cute little container. So next up is this here. And this is the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer in the shade Sheer. Uh, and this is the, I think the first product I've got that isn't the e.l.f. Studio line. This is just the e.l.f. Regular line. So it is a little bit cheaper as well. This was only three pound, you get 3.1 millilitres. It looks about standard uh, eyeshadow primer size. So it helps prep your eyelids for a smoother, long-lasting, crease-proof eyeshadow look. Directions are to apply a thin coat to the eyelid and blend in. Allow formula to dry before applying eyeshadow. So there we go. I'll just open it up. This comes in slightly cheaper packaging as well. This is just going to be on like a big rack and you're just going to pull one off and take it rather than the, the slightly fancier e.l.f. studio packaging. So there it is there. It has quite a thick handle and then the body of the actual, which contains the product, gets thinner and thinner and thinner. So this is probably to be slightly ergonomic. And it comes with your pretty standard spongy doe foot applicator type Thing, and it looks like it's also a pretty standard eyeshadow primer consistency. It's this pink swipe here and it will prime everything and smooth it out. I find it's quite useful if you have a slightly oilier lids. It can sort of create a barrier between that oiliness and the eyeshadow that you're putting on top while also giving a slightly nicer surface for your eyeshadow to cling to. So I actually do already use eyeshadow primer. It's just the one that I have, which I forget what brand it is. The one that I have is running out, so I thought I'd try the e.l.f. one. So I'll have to see how this one goes. There we go. That's the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer for £3. Uh, next is just a little brush here. This is actually the e.l.f. Eyeshadow Duo Brush, so you can't actually see the other end that's in here. It's only really showing off the eyeshadow, the um, eyebrow spoolie. So this says, perfect to use with powder, creams, and gel formulas for a polished look. The soft synthetic bristles are vegan, friendly, and easy to clean. So use the wand end and brush hair into shape, following the natural arch, fill in any sparse areas of the brow, blah, 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 blah. So this is an eyebrow brush specifically. Uh, the reason I bought one of these specifically is my old spoolie eyebrow brush, which wasn't an elf one, has fallen apart. This bit has fallen out and I find these particularly useful if you use brow gel because I will gently put a little brow gel on the top of my brows hairs just to make sure I'm not putting way too much on because it's very easy with brow gel to put way too much on and then you use the clean product free spoolie 
to brush that through and then you're just getting the perfect amount of brow gel. And then the other end is just this little tapered brush which yes it directs you can use this to fill in your brows as well with other products or you could even use it for things like the gel eyeliner since it's actually sort of the same size it's almost the same brush as on the end there but this actually has a longer handle so you'd probably feel a lot more comfortable holding the full length of it in your hand but there we are just a dual ended eyebrow brush mostly bought for this end because these are tremendously useful little tools to have around uh, and I think this was £4.50 because this isn't the super cheap version of this brush they do do a cheaper spoolie brush and angled eyeshadow brushes where you just get one on one end or one on the other end and I think they're actually about £2 so I opted to get the dual ended one simply because I thought it would be more useful and it's a slightly nicer brush. My final product that I actually uh, bought to do the threshold spend is the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. So this is a makeup setting spray. This fine clear setting spray helps makeup stay put and helps control shine for beautiful looking skin infused with vitamin B, E, Articum Magus Root to help hydrate and soothe. Lightweight, comfortable formula helps improve makeup wearability and prevent colour from running or fading. Its directions are to shake well before use and spray on after applica makeup application to set makeup or during the day for a quick touch up. And it says spray a light mist 12 to 16 inches from face with eyes closed to set makeup quite a distance away uh, and I quite like the sound of this the in the same for the same reason I quite like their foundations elf foundations are also really quite affordable but they come with all of the nice good for your skin ingredients while the rest of it is quite simple straightforward stuff and I thought the makeup setting spray sounded the same and I'm out of the one that I use so let's open this up this was five pound and you get 60 milliliters it's a nice little size not super tiny but not a giant bottle so this would be quite good to take with you somewhere as well travel friendly it comes nice and safety sealed since it's something you're gonna put on your skin that's what you want and there it is there and again nice classical straightforward elf packaging black straight lines the nice white font on there and i will see if it has a smell yeah it has a light almost sweet smell but it doesn't smell like sweets or cake or anything like that it just has like a hint of sweetness and a hint of sort of light beauty products so that's that the elf matte magic mist and set makeup setting spray you get 60 milliliters for five pound so this was all of these stuff that i went ahead and picked for myself because i liked the look of them so the total cost for all of that together was 26 pound because the threshold spend amount was 25 i believe you got free shipping either way and you got this whole bundle of free stuff and it was specifically their holiday favorites must have set over there which is four items i already know that i actually have got a duplicate by accident rather than one of the additional items that i'm supposed to have but i'm not sure how bothered i am because of the item that i'm actually missing but anyway this set is a lipstick a mascara a liquid eyeliner and a brush i however got two mascaras instead of a liquid eyeliner i don't know if this was just because they'd ran out and they wanted to give you an extra item anyway or if it was just an accident but i actually have recently gotten a liquid eyeliner so i'm not actually super bothered to be honest that this sort of mishap has happened i will just keep one of these mascaras and not open it it will still be good in the future so i'll set that aside so first off we've got the mineral infused mascara 
This creates full, healthy looking lashes. The Longwear Formula and Unique Silicone Brush helps create clump-free, defined lashes. Apply to eyelashes from root to tip, working in a zigzag motion to fully coat the lashes. Reapply if desired. So this looks like it's one of that slightly nicer ones as well. It's black, you get 10 milliliters. I'll just open it up now. There it is that, straightforward, up and down tube, no ergonomic handle style as it were. Very fuss free. And there it is that, you have the very standard mascara on style, nothing fancy, not trying to do anything special or like weird. It's just a mascara wand which, with some black mascara on. So there we go, that's that. So this was one of my freebies and I got another one. Next up is another brush and this is actually a flat eyeliner brush. So like these, the flat defining ones, but another one. Oh, I should read the back. Flat eyeliner brush. Firm and flat brush helps create precise lines and provide full color intensity for smooth and even consistency. Use with powder, liquid or cream products. And again, synthetic vegan friendly bristles are soft and easy to clean. So you know these are all nice cruelty free products. Let's open this up. So there it is there. It's a nice brush. It's got a nice long, long, long handle which I like, nice and comfortable to hold to get that full hand length where you can both hold it with the tip of your fingers and it'll come all the way down into the back of your hand because that will give it stability. It's nice to have a full size brush compared to this tiny thing. <laughs> uh, unlike the sort of tiny one which has the angled style, this is a full flat top style brush, but it's still really, really thin. It's still for doing precise eyeliner and other such things. So there we go. And it has the same nice style where it has the, I think this is plastic, metal ferrule, lovely bristles, which are again, yes, they're soft in a not gonna scratch your skin kind of way, but they are firm in that they keep their shape properly and will be good for doing precise work with. So there we go, that's my second arguably third, two mascaras, freebie. There we go. And then my last one should be a lovely lipstick. Oh yes, very winter appropriate. This is the e.l.f. Velvet Matte Lipstick in Ruby Red. You get 4.1 grams. So this silky matte lipstick glides easily onto lips to lock on moisture with a vibrant matte color infused with argan oil, rose, and vitamin E to help condition, replenish, and soothe the lips. Apply to bare lips for best results, apply with a lip brush, working from the center of the lips, blending outwards towards the corners of the mouth. And yes, like the mascara, this is another one from their slightly nicer line. It has very nice looking packaging. It looks like it's a beautiful color. There it is there, there's a full size lipstick of the standard lipstick tube variety. Let's open that up. There it is. It is a beautiful deep ruby red and it has this little colour thing at the bottom. I don't know if they're going to be like, I think it might be MUA lipsticks like this where you can actually pull this off and there's lipstick in there which is a bit strange, but I don't want to just pull it apart right now. So there's the lovely lip color. I'll do a swatch. Ooh, that is pretty. So that is it there. It is wonderfully colorful and vibrant and nice and dramatic. And yes, I also really like that it says it's full of lots of things that are gonna be good for you. Let's just pick that up again. Argan oil rolls and vitamin E. It's going to make your lips look lovely and soft while also being really beautiful colour. So these are the items that I got for free. For free. It isn't really for free. You're getting the items because you did a threshold spend and you bothered to, to buy something from them. But I still really like the deals that Elf do where if you were looking at some items anyway and you've been looking at them for a while, I do think it's worth signing up for their offers 
because then you can go, oh, that's quite a nice deal. And then that will sort of give you that extra little push. So I got two free mascaras. One was supposed to be a liquid eyeliner, but I'm not so fussed. The nice free brush and the very beautiful free lipstick. And that was for spending 25 pounds, though I spent 26 pounds on all of my other lovely items, lovely items. Oh, and I got free shipping as well. <laughs> so that was my e.l.f. haul. Not huge amounts of stuff, but a nice variety. Some things that I just needed to replenish things that were finishing up and some nice new things to try out. I'm interested to try this out. But I hope you liked my little haul and I will see you again next time. Hello, this is Michaela of Studio Octopus and I'm here today doing the December UK Glass. Hello there, this is Peter. And this is Michaela. And we're going to play Soma. So we're going to start a new game.